Hi you, and welcome to Minecraft. The server is finally working. Thanks to Hagyoki. Uh, after a week of fighting with my server company, of them not having a clue what to do, of things continually going wrong, of crashes, of corrupted maps, of ID problems, of animals not being there, you saw the rats. Um, Timmy the turtle is back looking just like a turtle. He is a very big boy. The turtles apparently grow huge. Who knew that? And I have my gift from uh, Super Dude. Where is Ava's bunny? Is back now. Some of my horses are back. The ones that had become um, rats are still here. Oh, this turtle. One problem with Timmy is he follows me everywhere all the time. In the house, he's just, he's that big, and he's always in my face. But anyway, my horses that were rats are back. Um, there's the colored guys. You can see some of my gypsy horses down at the other end are back. A couple of them, Netherlad is here, and Joe Time is here. All the others are gone. That is the one thing that we haven't been able to restore. But you know, the cool thing is, is after a week of dealing with this stuff, with, uh, I don't know, something like 78, you know, you know, in, in Gmail, in a, you have like a message tree, you can have two or five or 10 or 20 messages all and they count as, you know, just, there's just one line for them. After 78 lines of emails, some of which had up to 20 emails in them, it's been a really stressful week at a time when I'm not supposed to be on the computer. My doctor, I'm just told you, you can't do this. You have to get off. You have to get off the email. But I've been working with these people trying to make this happen. Hey, Georgie gets in this morning, just gave him access to the server and said, you know, can you help? 30 minutes later, I had a functioning server. I had horses back. The crashes are gone. The corrupted files. There were times this week after the server people had fixed things where all of these buildings weren't even loading. They were just big black holes. Um, it, it's been a nightmare. It's been an absolute nightmare. It's fixed. So, hey, Georgie, everybody. Hero of the day. <laughs> God, again, no kidding. I'm obviously paying the wrong people for, for Minecraft server support. And as you can see, Hey Yorky and Emma are in here right now. So what is this? He's going to do how to use thermal expansion video. Absolutely. Um, oh, the new mods. I have to show. Okay. I have to show you guys stuff. It's been a long week, but stuff has gotten good. I'm just going to go in here real quick and show you a couple of things. Um, that are new in some of the mods we've put in. Yes, I finally caved. I have mods, a few of them, and they're kind of fun, I gotta admit. So I'm gonna go up here and show you some things. We have some furniture stuff now, and as you can see, I have my art pack back in the game, so I'm very happy about that. Look, we have rugs. I can put rugs down. I think that's so cool. You can put these little tops on things now. Um, we have this for chairs. We also have this for chairs. Now, I don't have the right sort of texture pack for the furniture stuff yet, but I'm going to be working on that, you can be sure. So that's very exciting. Let me get in here and show you some of the goodies. We do have all this furniture now, the Jammy Furniture Mod. I know a few of you, you know, who are in here playing already have been really excited about that. So we can put down furniture. Roofing now. We can play with roofing. Instead of just having the main steps or just big blocks, we can have, you know, something that's smaller. Um, there are things like this chimney top. Look, see, it looks just like my little flower pots I was using. So it's cool. We can have regular freezers and things like that. I probably won't use a lot of those myself because it just feels a little too modern for, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be there yet. This little thing, this painter's flower pot, very cool little mod. I love this one. This particular one's kind of hard to tell, but what you can do with these is you, you take clay and you fire a fire, fire a flower. You make a flower pot. Still having a hard time with talking, guys. I'm still getting headaches. Um, it's been, what, almost a month now since I cracked my head open. Still getting the headache, still having some problems with stuff, so I'm sorry in advance. But um, see, this one is blue. You take clay, you make a flower pot, you put it in the oven and fire it, and then you can take any color block at all. We'll go back here. Any one of these, just any block, doesn't matter what it is, click on it, 
and poof, your flower pot becomes that color. I think that's awesome. <laughs> Very excited. There's this one, thermal expansion. Yeah, I broke down, got a little bit of machines. Okay, not a lot, but there are some machines that are happening. Uh, you can pulverize different things. There are some new ores and stuff like that. And again, that's what Hey Georgi said a little while ago. He's actually going to make a how-to video for, for, you know, my guys to get in here and, and be able to learn how to use that really fast and easy. With the building blocks, um, yeah, you will see see all the wools now come in steps. They come in these slabs, and they come in these nice little carpet squares that you can just put down. You don't have to have a floor now that's three feet, you know, three blocks deep so that you can dig out something and put a carpet. You can just put a carpet down on top. Yes! Awesome stuff. Flowers has changed. He found me some awesome flower mods and then some. There are these crates of all these different things. These are going to be a lot of fun in a marketplace, making it look like there's crates and barrels and stuff going on. We have candles we can put down now. Um, a lot of different saplings, as you will see. Lots and lots and lots and lots of different kinds of fruit trees. And I'm going to be playing with those a little bit, and I'm going to get to show you in a minute what I have been doing. I've learned some new stuff this week, um, and I'm having such a good time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having so much fun with this. I, wow. I just want you to see what these little icons look like. This is exactly what the flowers look like from a new mod that Yorkie put in for me. And... Um, want to show you come with me I want to show you what I've been doing with them because I'm very very excited and here's my turtle coming he wants to follow me I, he loves me I love turtles and he loves me back it's so cool so see I've got my mod my my art pack I've put that up because this is supposed to be the royal stud the whole blue and gold thing for Leckley um, they are the blue pots but now we're gonna turn around and check it out those icons I showed you before, I've taken those flowers and turned them into these. And I'm, I have to admit, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this stuff. I think I am in creative, so I will get up and give you an overview. Now these were put down in just some kind of random order, and I got to tell you, this is not even a quarter of the plants that I have yet to change. This is just the beginning. This is going to be the most gardenous world that has ever existed on Minecraft. When I am done with it, there are going to be flowers blooming, like, oh, in, in gardens of all different kinds of styles. It's going to be fun. <laughs> but these are mine. I've learned how to do these all by my little self, which is actually no big deal. It's really, really easy. A couple of people have already asked, um, you know, friends who have just heard me yammering about how excited I am about all this. They've said, you know, do a how-to video showing other people how to make this happen. So I might do that actually in a, you know, sometime here soon. <clears throat> so um, there's my flowers. Now this lot is a little bit strange because you have to put them down as seed. You have to cultivate the ground, put them down as seed. But and I just did this before I started. But you can see here they are starting to grow over. Um, you just can't put them down as adult flowers. However, the ones I showed you in here, it's kind of strange with this pack. You have some that come in seed. These come as, as adult flowers and you just pop them down. And that's the orange one and I'll show you the orange one I made of it. Um, the purple one or this one, the green shrub is turned into, I don't know, one of these green shrubs. That one over there maybe, see that tall one right here, this green shrub? Yeah, I think that's it there. The purple one I made into kale, because flowering kale is kind of awesome looking, and it, yeah. So there's my orange one. That one here, the orange lilies, is what that was made from. I like mine better. <laughs> so some of these, the seeds grow into certain things, and then there's adults plants that you can put down. The adult plants you can put in the pots and an oh no, wrong button. Another cool thing is all these seedlings of course can be put in pots to use as decoration the same way we've always used these. Uh, so I'm going to be changing all of those too. And then there's the vegetable plants. You will not believe how many seeds there are in it's wow, there's so many. There's so many. 
Okay, these are the flowers right here. These seedlings are the ones you're seeing in the flower bed. And then see the, this from here down? Now these are like three stages, but that seed, that seed, that seed, that one, you know, all of these single ones. You can see how far down they're going here. All of those are plants I get to play with yet too. So over here, I just put these down in, whoops, put these down in sort of a random order so you could see what I was building. And then over here, because this is the official, you know, government stud farm um, and the blue and gold thing, the blue and gold bed is probably what I'm going to end up making over here as well. So there we are. We are back in business. Things are happening. Um, oh, Emma's left the game, but I bet she's not gone for long. So good times. I'm kidding. This is really great. There has been something good that come from this week. My flowers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm having fun with this. I've tried to make them actually look like something. That's kind of hard to tell, but it's supposed to be irises. Those are orange lilies. You know, um, yes, I can't remember, but I've had it for houseplants and outdoors. The roses, the daisies, the calla lilies there. Anyway, bluebells. So there we go. I have a server again. So I just wanted to make that announcement, get it out there so that anybody who, you know, who's already in here and waiting to get in, I sent you all the information you need through Skype, by the way. Hag Yorkie again has gone out and created another video just taking you step by step through the process. He's made it even easier this time. It's even faster this time. Tanti's here now. Yay. We got people, you know, trickling in already and um, we're back to play Minecraft. So we, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and again, I hate to say this, but it's depending on, you know, what happens in the next couple of days with my head. I've got a um, uh, doctor's appointment tomorrow, uh, I have just a bunch of appointments tomorrow. So I'm going to be recording as much as I can today. I'll be out of the house almost all day tomorrow. And then if I don't have a blinding headache on Thursday, I'm hoping to do a short little live stream in the afternoon. So we'll be getting in here and playing Minecraft and showing you around and um, yeah playing some games planting some flowers we'll go over to Enderman Keep and finish my garden finally I'm gonna have flowers I wanted to do that so until I see you next time again thank you for being here through all this this concussion stuff it has been a really unpleasant month I have missed so much work it has been terrible I don't think I've worked a full shift all month it's just leaving early starting late having to break in the middle and lay down it, it's just yeah anyway but every day is a little better than the day before and i am so excited hey yorkie thank god you're on this planet <laughs> and for everybody else until i see you again hit like hit subscribe do all those cool things leave your comments and um i'll see you shortly so live your life happy and make it beautiful bye bye